Jungle needs a nap. Come on, boy. Come to daddy. The proton. Hey guys, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're reviewing the new Proton Physics by Storm. So Storm says that this is the biggest hooking ball they've ever made, so we're expecting it to be super early and just a lot overall. Alright, so something different for you guys today, we're going to be testing it on two different patterns. On the left lane we have Mercury, which is 40 feet, and on the right lane we have Titanium, which is 44 feet. Jung doesn't have to pay for bowling balls, so he can compare it to as many as he wants. So today he picked three. Must be nice. So on Mercury, Jung will compare the Proton Physics against the Axiom, which features the same cover stock, and the RST-X1 from Rotogrip, which came out roughly around the same time. Jung will also throw the Omega Crux on the long, which right now is its biggest tank. As I mentioned earlier, the Proton Physics has the same cover stock as the Axiom, the NEX cover stock. It also features the same physics core that's been throughout the lineup. Jung decided to not throw it against the physics just because it's discontinued and he wanted to keep it with the current line. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I was looking at Jung today, he seems a little slow, slower than usual, so hopefully he can still throw some strikes. Uh, let's get to it. Jungle's back. Proton physics. A little something different for you today. Two different patterns out here, 40 feet, 44 feet. See how this guy reacts. So first we're gonna be bowling the 40 foot Mercury. 40 feet. I want my break point around nine or 10. Decent shot. Rolled pretty early and pretty smooth. Kind of feels like the crux prime a little bit. Let's try and uh, slow it down a hair, see if I can take a hook a little bit more in the back. Slowed it down a hair, but missed a little bit left. Really early, really smooth, really strong. Okay, let's throw the RST. This one has a couple of games on it from the last ball review. Same layout. Let's see if we can get a good read here of the difference. Should get down the lane a little further and turn the corner a little bit harder. Just from what I've seen. Yeah, you can see. Same line, Proton left like a week 10 there where the RST went through the pins really well. So the RST, the two new high-end balls, RST definitely goes a little bit further. A little bit more back in motion. All right, so since the pro time rolled a little bit early there, left the week 10, I'm gonna go full right and uh, amp the speed up a little bit. That looked pretty good. Already, I think if you get too far left of this ball too quick, it's just gonna burn up and die on you. Super strong cover stock, right? How's the ball look so far, Reed? Right? Yeah, average. <laughs> He's just upset he can't have one yet. So I think this really reminds me of the Crux Prime. Okay, let's go two more right. Throw a little bit harder. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I think the straighter you go with this ball and the more speed, the better it's gonna look, right? It really wants to grab the lane early, and because of that, it's gonna have a really smooth motion. So playing like inside swing lines, I don't think it's gonna be that good. But up the boards, it's gonna be really good. I love it. Okay, let's throw the RSD on the same line there. Might be hard to tell, but I could see that ball go a little bit further down lane and definitely motion harder. So if you're looking for a couple of new high-end pieces, these two are really gonna complement each other really well. We don't have the physics here, just cause it's discontinued. So I wanna keep the current lineup of balls here that I'm throwing. Okay, let's go down to the Axiom Salt. Uh, same cover as the Proton, but it's got a, its own symmetric core, right? So it's gonna hook way less. Maybe not way less, but for less for sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, so maybe three to four boards left from the high end balls here. But with it being symmetric, it's gonna hold its energy a little bit longer. Okay, so let's go back to the original line with the Proton, left the Week 10, and the RST went through the pins really well. So let's try and repeat that. Still got back to the pocket, but it was kind of like a half hit there. 10 went late. If I were to bowl for score right now, I'd definitely use the RST. Looks the best. Gets that one lane a little bit further. And the Proton, a little bit more in the back end. The cockroach is back. <laughs> Alright, this ball really reminds me of the Crux Prime. That ball is really good for playing straight. Let's go another 7 right. Uh, play up the back of the ball here. It actually felt pretty good off the hand. Just checked up really early. Right, this ball's got some teeth on it for sure. Storm says it's their biggest hooking ball they've made, so. Nice and straight, the axiom, off the back, just like the Proton. Proton went through the face, so. This should hit the puck. Yeah, definitely weaker. It has to be, right, just because of the core. We know it's gonna roll early. Be very smooth, so it's gonna be really good for playing straight. Uh, let's see if I can get it to bend the back end. So, 10 boards left of the original shot. See, it just doesn't want to turn the corner really hard. It just can't. Just because the cover stock's so strong, it's gonna burn up energy early, so it's not gonna give you that back end snap. RSD from way left, it's gonna shape much better. better that shapes. So definitely a spot for both of these in my bag, right? Proton's gonna be for the fresh, we're playing really straight, and once you have to move left a little bit, RSD as well is good. All you can eat sushi like an hour ago. Jungle needs a nap, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go bowl in the long here. Let's see what this ball does. Five minutes later. Jungle's back after a five minute break and some coffee. So we got the Proton here. We're gonna bowl in 44 feet now, titanium. Just see what this ball can do in a little bit more oil, a little bit longer oil, right? So hopefully it can corner enough down lane to kick out that 10. It actually looked pretty good, but uh, just missed a bit, right? So 44 feet, guys, rule of 31. I wanna be at like 13 at the break point. So 13 board at 44 feet. I know it's super hard to see if you don't have those hash marks, but try your best. better shot. This ball definitely handles oil really well. You can see it dig in nice and early. Had a really nice shape there on 44 feet. And some of these mid-range balls not gonna hook at all on this pattern. Frosted cupcake. So if you like sweets, this ball's gonna make you hungry. So based on our last pattern there, if you're needing a, a tank that rolls super early and super strong, handle a lot of oil early, you know, this is gonna be really good. Just like the Crux Prime. So let's move a hair left, one left. Slow it down a bit. See if we can get it, go through the pins. Pretty good. Definitely shaped pretty good down lane on the longer patterns. The ball needs oil now. If there's no oil, it's gonna burn up early and do nothing. I'm actually really liking this RST for the few days I've had it. So let's throw this on that same line there from the previous pattern there. It's gonna go a bit longer and turn the corner harder for sure. Oh, you see that? It went a little too long there. Didn't have quite enough time to come back and hit the pocket. Proton definitely hooking like two to three boards more than the RST, for sure. Try and stay in the same spot and slow it down with the RST. So then go through the pins here. Felt okay off the hand, just missed a little bit right. But as you can see, it really goes too far, right on the fresh, on the 44. Proton definitely looks way better right now on the longer. RST look much better on the 44. Okay, let's go to Big Mama's house, Omega. So this is my go-to ball for longer patterns, heavier oil. I brought it back to the box a couple games ago. Let's throw on the same line here, see what it does. Does that ball fit right in between the two of these? Now you know why that's my go-to. As you know, we start a little tradition here. Asking questions, comments down below. What is the most hookingest ball you've ever thrown? Let me know what that is. John, what's your most hookingest ball? 
Good question, dude. Well, I'm gonna say the Proton now. Just because it's brand new, fresh cover, new technology, 44 feet, ball's bending like crazy. Yeah, I'm going with Proton. The Proton! All right, a few of my friends have asked me to play a little bit straighter. Right, they want to see what the ball does, going a little bit straighter down lane, so 44 feet here. Let's go, let's try and go right down 12. I think straight feels weird. pretty good <laughs> even though it's super uncomfy for me to stand there and throw it straight down 12 that looked pretty good yeah this ball is really good for playing straight you need a tank that allows you to play straight reads the mid lane this is the ball for you look at the cover stock is so grippy it doesn't come back come on ball come to daddy okay let's appease the up 10 board strokers here up 10 with the proton Okay, let's try that Omega on that same line there. Right up 10. Man, these balls are good. You know, I was a little bit scared of the Proton hooking too early on me, just because the Crux Prime was so early and so smooth, but this one retains its energy better than the Crux Prime. All right, let's go Axiom. Same cover as the Proton, remember? Let's go up 10 as well. So this should hook much less. You see how it kind of didn't have enough legs almost to get back from there? Half hit strike with the 10 going late. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty good. Let's go have a chat in the shop. Jungle's back yet again without the bark goal. You're welcome, everyone. Uh, so today, I bowled on Mercury on the left lane, 40 feet, a challenge shot. So there's quite a bit of oil actually, as we use the flex here and these lanes don't hook that much. I used the Proton Physics compared it against the RST X1 and also threw a little Axiom in there too because of the same cover. Proton definitely hooks more and earlier than both of these. The Axiom here has got its own symmetric core. So obviously it's gonna have much less hook potential. So I would say it's about three to four boards less overall. As you can see in some of the shots I threw there, I tried to hit the same mark for you guys, but who knows for sure exactly. The RST hooks maybe one or two boards less but definitely shapes better down lane a little bit more back end reaction a little bit more snap where the proton definitely likes to dig in and roll really early as i said a couple times reminds me of the crux prime right and this is going to be a great complement to it and so with the axiom if i'm going to bowl on mercury i'm using the rst if i'm bowling league on the mercury right now i'm going to use the rst look the best uh, proton just a little bit too early for me and then we took a five minute break and went over to the next lane there which i oiled titanium 44 feet uh, just to see what this ball could do on a bit longer pattern uh, usually these patterns got to play pretty tight right to the pocket and the ball doesn't hook too much so you really need the ball that digs in at the back so my favorite ball for that is the omega so that's why i threw that and the proton definitely hooks earlier than the omega so as you can see in the video the omega went through the pins a little more angular than the Proton here, but the Proton still looked really good. The RST went a little bit too long for me on the fresh for 44. So definitely a place for the Proton really early. It really digs in at the oil really early in the mid lane. Really good for lots of oil, you know. Doesn't matter the pattern too much, I don't think. Short, medium, long, as long as there's enough volume, this ball's gonna be good. So the past few big hooking balls that have came out from Storm and Roto, they've hooked really early and a lot. And sometimes that's not too good for longer patterns, right? Cause you really need the ball to hook down lane to carry the 10 on those longer patterns. But the Proton really saves its energy pretty good. Uh, that's why I've like kind of leaned towards the Omega, right? And stuff like that, where it gets down the lane pretty easy, right? And has a little bit more pop down lane. So the Crux Prime was one of those balls for me. So was the UFO, a little bit too early, a little bit too smooth. I think the Proton has a little bit more energy saving. Gonna go through the pins a little bit better. So this ball's gonna be great for guys with a little bit higher ball speeds, right? Cause this ball is really gonna dig in in the mid lane and it's gonna slow down for it. it's gonna give you that control right so if you're left-handed and you like to fire it up five this ball's gonna be really good for you right-handed a little bit higher than average ball speed this ball's gonna be really good too but if you're expecting it to hook like a hockey stick down lane forget it not gonna do it if we're going back to our ball graph here in terms of strength uh this ball's gonna be a 10 out of 10 but it's gonna go a little bit further down lane before it starts its motion so maybe like a 10 10 strength and four length this ball is definitely gonna be in my bag if i'm bowling on something heavier or longer right so if i'm bowling on something on that's wood lanes I'm not gonna bring it, right? It's just gonna hook at the foul line. But if I'm bowling here, right? If we got titanium out or we got mercury even, I'm, I'm gonna put it in my bag, right? Just in case. So I think Storm really delivered. They came true on their statement. This is the biggest hooking ball they've ever made. I think that's true. You know, I definitely outhooked the RST and maybe a board stronger, maybe two than the Omega. Not too, too much stronger. So it's gonna be good. It's still gonna be usable in lots of different patterns, especially in league when the heavy oil is in the middle. It's gonna be good. Thanks for watching everyone. We got the Emu boys next. Cousins got their own video. It's gonna be sweet. It's a yellow break from jungle. Actually, maybe I'll do the intro, just Yo. for you guys. 
<laughs> I'm gonna do the intro just for you guys, okay? Don't forget to comment below my question. What's the biggest hook and ball you've ever had in your life? And like, subscribe, you know, all the works. And maybe comment down below if you ever wanna see Barks again. Booyah, see you later.